Previously on a girl named Joe. Consider this a warning. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, Joe Chambers. What are you doing with Dwight? I told you, he's my lab partner. What on earth is going on here? Every strong man needs a pretty face behind him. Play your cards right, you could be Mrs. Lawrence DuPont someday. Can you keep a secret? These past few weeks, you've been telling everyone that your mom has been looking after you, but she hasn't? She doesn't even know that Lenny got shot. If she knew, I couldn't stay. I met that man, Ernie, and I know you're selling to him. I don't want to spend the rest of my life behind the counter, Joe. And that's not all. Principal Wilson? It's funny how different people see different things depending on where they're looking from. You got home late? A little. How was Kathy's? Fine. How was the diner? Fine. Sometimes it's what we fail to see that gets us into trouble. Dwight sure is lucky you don't take chemistry, Junior. Huh? Yeah, you should have seen him and your girl Kathy. They made cake together. Your girl and Dwight made sweet, sweet cake. Can it? They're assigned partners. All I'm saying is, I wouldn't let my girl mix with some Millwood trash. You don't even got a girl. Better no girl than a two-timer. <laughs> Calm down, boys. Any violence or foul language, and Coach Richards will be playing all alternates next year. Sorry, ma'am. And sometimes it's not what we're missing, but what other people see that we can't. How are you liking Victoria Lucas? Oh, uh, not bad so far. Follow me. We haven't even gotten lunch yet. Come on, Kathy, let's go. Hmm. Don't you just love how she says her life is like a fig tree? All of these branches to choose from. <laughs> well, she can't make a decision, so everything goes to rot. Yes, I suppose so. I know her name is Joe. I don't know When I close my eyes I'll visualize This little girl Named Joy What are you doing? We don't need another principal in our case. There's something off about her. She's seducing my dad. Well, if we're gonna do this, at least let's do it right. ID says her name is Deborah Collins. Well, maybe she was just married and got a divorce. Or maybe she's still married. But what does she want with my dad? Come on, Joe, we gotta go. She's gonna be back any minute. Since I was a little girl, my father had appeared invincible. But now there were chinks in his armor. Listen here, Chuck, Charles, Fitzroy's put up half the money. That means we make half the decisions. It is certainly not a question about money. We're the Fitzroy. Hello? Me. Henry. Everything all right, Pop? 
Certainly, just ironing out a few details with Chuck Dupont. About that, I actually took the liberty of reviewing our contract with the Duponts, and if you don't mind me saying so, I think they're taking advantage of us. Oh? How so? All the work is he hired, Dupont men. And that catering deal with the Crown Lake Club? Chuck's on the board of directors. And not to mention, Lawrence Dupont's been running his mouth claiming it's his pet project. Well, this is all news to me. You know, maybe we did send you off too young. But with what you did, our hands were, were tied. It's all right, Pop. I was a boy then. Finley Academy made me a man. I suppose so. Go, Finley. <laughs> now, what do I do about up Chuck Dupont? Funny you mention, I actually took the liberty of setting up a meeting with the Millwood Bank. It's not too late to renegotiate. I like the sound of this. Can I tell the bankers that I speak on behalf of the family? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We can certainly discuss getting more involved in the business. I think you've earned that right. Hiya, partner. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. Good work this morning. Oh, yeah, it smelled even worse this time. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Mr. Gibson sure thought so. Now we just need to get fresh milk for your house. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I'll, uh, I'll get some after I visit the hospital. Do you want, um, company? Maybe? I bet it gets lonely. That's a sweet offer. But he can be a bit grumpy sometimes, so I should probably go by myself. But we can go to the diner, get a milkshake or something. Another milk is pristine. <laughs> Alan, you'll never guess who my dad is. Oh. Sorry, I didn't know you were in the middle of something. Sorry that I interrupted. Hey, what was all that about? Last I checked, you couldn't stand Alice Hargrove. Well, she's actually been really helpful, you know, talking me through some things. What sort of things? Just personal stuff. I mean, what's it to you? We're just friends, right? Yes, and I need a friend. You haven't once asked about the diner or my dad. It's like you stopped caring altogether. Well, that's not true, Joe, but I have my own problems to deal with. I mean, since when do you care? And it's a good thing you have Alice Hargrove by your side. Sorry about last night. My parents are so strange. It's just because they don't know you yet. It's all right. I think I haven't been through a million times. They might be one way, but I'm not. You don't have to apologize or explain yourself. This is just the way the world works. One day, hopefully someday soon, it'll be different. I hope so. I better go. By the way, good job this morning. Mr. Gibson said he hasn't had cake that good since the county fair. Trouble. You? 
away trouble. Okay, I know Kathy's your best friend, and I probably shouldn't say anything. Just go ahead. It's only been a couple months since we started going steady, and I already feel like she's losing interest. Don't be stupid, Junior. Kathy's crazy about you. Maybe I should just take pointers from Dad. It's so weird seeing Debbie in the hallways. Hey, she doesn't seem half bad. You might be right, but we've had some bad luck with principals, so. <laughs> Young Mr. Fitzroy, what can I do you for? I'll get right to the point. As I'm sure you're aware, my family's half the money behind the DuPont Hotel. And between you and me, the DuPonts are having some problems. Of course, this is a highly sensitive matter, but you're a man of discretion, right, Mr. Sutherland? Well, oh, down in the bank, they call me the vault. <laughs> then I trust you understand that word of the hotel needing a loan cannot get out. And I'm also hoping that you're the man to give it to me. Well, on prime property like that, it shouldn't be a problem. Huh? Except one, you don't have authorization to take a loan out against the hotel. Ernie, I'm sure we can work something out. I will need a DuPont signature on any document I run up the pipe. Figured as much. It's not gonna be an issue. <laughs> I was with Dr. King in 57 at the Lincoln Memorial. Hmm. 25,000 strong. He said, give us the ballot. But why give? Why not take? And so later on when I was exposed to Malcolm X and Carmichael, it resonated with me. Nonviolence, well, it sounds nice in theory, but in practice it's it's weak, it's flimsy, it's defenseless. It's easy for white folks to say. Try growing up in a town like this, a small fish in a big, bigoted pond. Have you encountered much discrimination here in Attaway? Not outright usually, but it's like the other week at Joe's Diner. Her father's actually in the process of selling that place. Joe's father? I hear you, uh, you're a friend of his. You could say that. Look, Abby, the truth is, the last school I taught at up north, everyone was repressed and restricted, set in their ways. I came here for a fresh start. New town, new job. And yes, some new people. But most importantly, I want to make sure your generation is better off than mine. My whole life, people have been making me promises. I'm still waiting on somebody to keep one. Shouldn't you be canoodling with Kathy? Not lately. Trouble in paradise, huh? You could say that. Yeah, she always had a soft spot for underdogs. I'll see you explain you too. <laughs> Very funny, DuPont. Say, how you holding up? What do you mean? Kathy mentioned you were working with your father more. What'd she say? On the hotel. Don't worry about me, Chambers. Oh, if you want my advice, forget baking cakes. That boy needs a good knuckle sandwich. Sam, what he means here. Reserving judgments is a matter of infinite hopes. Fitzgerald is just saying that we never want to judge people, but we always do. Does that have to do with this beginning part? Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, just remember that all of the people in the world have not had the advantages you've had. I meant the next paragraph, but yes, for the thousandth time, we Fitzroys have it all. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. I'll be over forthright. 
It'll just be me tonight. Hey, who's Jack? That's Lawrence's father. Take a seat, Henry. I spoke with your old man this morning. Never knew him to be so careful with money. He pinches quarters so tight the eagle screams. <laughs> it's funny you mention I've been telling him, buy cheap, buy twice. If a modern man wants a putting green, why say no? That's right, son. You should talk some sense into your father. What if I told you we didn't have to worry about my father at all? Russell Fitzroy anymore. What's he say? Shh, I can't hear. You're an ambitious young man, Henry. I only wish my Lawrence had such a head on his shoulders. Has he not been helping with the project? No. Here and there, he picks out the linens, negotiates down the painters, gave him a fancy title, but the boy lacks grit. He needs a real education. Why don't I take him under my wing? Show him the ropes. Lawrence could be my shadow. The missus and I are in a train to Chicago tomorrow night to see the in-laws. Then there's business in Albany and Manhattan. So I don't see why not. Lawrence will be in good hands while you're away. I think Henry's double-crossing my dad. For once, it's a pleasure doing business with a Fitzroy. Come on, Kathy. Let's get out of here. Like I said, different people see things differently, depending on where they're looking from. My brother was up to no good, that much was clear. But why? He was already next in line to run the family business. No, this was something more. I'll get it. Not too long, dear, I'm having dinner. It's our residences. Kathy? Ray? I, I, need, I need to tell you something. Something about Henry. What is it? Who's on the phone, Kathy? Is it for me? No, it's just Joe. Kathy, no, no. I'll call Kathy, you back after wait, school tomorrow. It was something else altogether. 